Hi, I'm going to teach you how to set up WordPress software to your local host. First things first, be sure to run your Apache and MySQL module in your XAM control panel. Don't forget that or else you're not going anywhere with this. So close the XAM window. Don't worry, it will run in the background. Next, visit WordPress.org. This is where the WordPress CMS, which stands for Content Management System, can be downloaded from. This is the software that you tweak or program. While WordPress.com, it lets you publish your articles and they handle the back-end part of your website. WordPress is a publishing platform that makes it easy for anyone to make a website. Alright? Download the latest WordPress software version from WordPress.org. I'm gonna cancel this since I've downloaded this already. Next, open your downloads folder or to where you stored your downloaded files to. Then, extract the zip file anywhere. I'm just going to extract it here. Now, Copy the WordPress folder and then paste it inside the XAMPS HD docs. Paste here. You can rename the folder to whatever you want and then let's visit that folder using localhost in the browser. The landing page will be this one. You gotta choose which language you prefer. There are a bunch of languages to choose from. I'm gonna choose English. Then, at this point, there are five important items we need before proceeding with the setting up of WordPress. We need to set up the database, create a username and password, know the host, and the table prefix. Let's create the database. Visit the PHP My Admin of your local host. Click New and create a new database. You can name it to whatever name that you want. Let's just name it WordPress for easy reference. Then click Create. Now for the next item, create a user with username and password in the PHP My Admin. Click Add User in the Users tab. Fill the login information. Let's make the username to admin. You can type in whatever username that you want for as long as it doesn't exist in your user list. Host would be the local host. Set a password for this, and then retype the password. Then check all privileges so that WordPress can create, read, update, and delete data in the WordPress database. When that's done, click Go. When you have successfully added a new user, you can proceed to the next item. Since the database host is localhost, we will use localhost. For the table prefix, this is the item that you want to put if you have more tables in one WordPress database. Next would be filling the details. We know our database name, username, password, and database host which is localhost. We will use wp underscore assuming that we are not running multiple WordPress. This is used for linking tables to their corresponding WordPress installations. Alright Sparky, click run the install. Fingers crossed, we're almost done. Fill in the information needed, what your site title's gonna be, your login credentials, your desired username and password. Then, your email address. For the privacy, you can leave it as it is or unchecked. It doesn't matter since search engines can index it while it's in your local host. Then click Install WordPress. Now it's a success! Let's verify. Click Log In and type your login credentials. Then 
There you go. It directs you to the WordPress dashboard. Let's visit the site. This is how it looks like when you're logged in. Hello world! Let's check this site when you're not logged in. Okay, this is a freshly pressed WordPress site. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and leave feedback. Thank you so much for watching.